Welcome back. The show is still Sportsville, and we have live with us at this time former AIPS president, uh, Mitchell Obi, the master himself. Uh, the master, a pleasure to have you join us on the show. Never really late to toast to uh, the, our independence 64 years uh, after. We are now still looking like uh, newborn babies, uh, perhaps. That's what some of us have uh, thought we are, still in our nappies. But 64 years is quite an age for a country. And I can say happy or belated happy independence to your team. And did um, all of you who have uh, continued to do uh, what I call a labor of love. <laughs> Yes, a quick one. Uh, two years for Ibrahim Guso as president of the Nigeria Football Federation. Uh, what will you make of his first 24 months as uh, the gaffer of Nigerian football, especially at that level? You know, as we say sometimes, the second half is the most critical half in a game. Even the second leg is the one that decides whether even on aggregate or on a, a knockout level, uh, you find that the second half is the one that tells the true story. The first half, perhaps, is like sizing up, knowing your opponents, perhaps taking the kind of lead that may make you comfortable in the second half. But critically, the second half is where you can really do a thorough assessment. For now, we can only say that uh, the honeymoon is over for Ibrahim Guzo who came in, in on September 30th. And of course, uh, it's only good to think that they are still going back to the South-South where he got the mandate uh, to hold their AGM. Perhaps the breeze from that area is uh, warming up well for him and he needs to get inspiration from there. And so you find that two years of Ibrahim Guzo, what is it? I can say that uh, it's time for us to look at the hangover of the past dispensation, which has left him. Uh, he's, he's gradually uh, got over the hangover uh, because some of the successes he may have counted as his attainments may not be entirely his uh, because there were over overlaps and some call it overflow of the past dispensation uh, for which he was um, an active participant. Indeed, uh, he was the chairman of chairman in that dispensation. Of course, uh, uh, also a chairman of a critical committee, uh, the security committee. And um, many people saw him as uh, being a real effective part of uh, that dispensation. And now we want to see a, an Ibrahim Guzo dispensation, which is clearly distinct. And we believe that um, he has done the homework. He has um, tried to refit, or some will say he has tried to go, on, go to the factory fitting of um, how to manage football in Nigeria. We are happy that the secondary school competition, which some of us shouted for so long, they have started taking part, a competition that really provides good money for all those who take part. We are happy that the Challenge Cup, the most glamorous the oldest competition has been retouched it's now called the president federations cup everybody wants to be part of it both um, the ministry and the um, the federation and we are happy that um, the league has given good leverage and good um, opportunities to the managers of the league uh, which he didn't appoint in the first place the first uh, uh, time we had the this league dispensation under uh, Benga, Legbele, Honorable, it was uh, from the old dispensation. But now he has taken full control. He's giving them um, the leeway and, of course, the liberty, and they are performing. And when the game is alive at home, you can be sure you have a steady thinking to uh, get it right at the top. Yes, Mitchell, on Friday we saw the annual General Assembly of the NFF in Asaba Delta State, but that aside, because truly uh, there were no key decisions made as far as that gathering is concerned. Uh, let's talk about the statutes of the Nigeria Football Federation. There have been calls for the unbundling of the status of the NFF to accommodate uh, more individuals, especially when it comes to the voting Congress. Uh, what will you make of this and what should Ibrahim Gusso do as at this time, especially listening to the yearnings of football stakeholders in Nigeria. Very, very pertinent uh, observation there. And I think um, when you talk of inclusivity, this uh, NFF uh, dispensation we have seen uh, is one that needs to go beyond what we have had in the past. And that's why we've had cases in the courts. The Players Union and the uh, other stakeholders have had cause to go to court to ask to be fully included. Look at the Congress. Indeed, to become president of a Nigerian Football Federation, you just need to get the 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 the, the, the backing of uh, 
FHMN and you are pressing, which is not right. They don't even reflect, reflect all the tendencies of the game. Indeed, they don't reflect the critical tendencies of the game. And that's why the Congress needs to be expanded. The Congress needs to include some other critical stakeholders. Indeed, the club owners are saying that where, where, where is their place even in the, in the Congress? They are the ones who really can turn the football into big business. But do they have a place in the Congress? The players are saying that they can't even have one vote, whereas state chairmen, who some 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 states do not even organize a, a club, I, I want to be uh, the voting power in in uh, football uh, uh, issues. That is not that is not right. I think Guzo has uh, the chance, the opportunity, but I think they've given their word, and the sports minister has insisted that they need to expand their horizon. They need to get those who have been aggrieved over time to be part of uh, the the football. Uh, uh, power, be part of the football ecosystem, be part of the football congress, not limiting it to just 36 FA chairman and they, they form a clique. Once you are chairman of chairman, you can aspire to, to become president of Nigerian football. You narrow even the scope. Outsiders cannot even find a place. Whereas they say they want to get the public uh, to be part of uh, supporting the game. How do you support the game when you know you can't even see a future? When the aspirational trust is, uh, is absent, even for former players, they don't have a way to balance their thoughts if they decide to go even into administration. Where will they end up? Can we see, for instance, a Wan Kanu who is chairman of AIMBA thinking about becoming uh, a president of Nigerian Football Federation? The route will be so long, except he has the support of the states, and that shouldn't be right. Football stakeholders, on their own merit, should be part of the football uh, 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 Moment. Yes, interesting conversation with our former AIPS president, Dr. Mitchell Obi. Uh, Mitchell, thank you very much. Incisive as always. We are immensely grateful for your time on the show. Sometimes you can't do the job well except you are ready to let it go. And haven't done the job, let your legacy speak. That's why we say that um, the, the Football Federation should remember that uh, there will come a time where we'll sit back to look at what they have done. And they have to start the work now. After two years, the honeymoon is totally, totally over. And for Ibrahim Guso, if he needs a second term, even though we say failure can uh, elicit a repeat, but here failure, we only look at the exit door.